in terms of, okay, you, um, Noah, Alvin Williams was a good guy that you pointed Alan, out. Alan, 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 yeah, Alan yeah. I keep calling him Alvin. Yeah. But even though he got hurt, I, he's, a, yeah, hurt. he's out for the year too. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what, so what, other, guy, what yeah. other young talent in the NBA have you seen that you're like, yo, I think that this guy can be a, you know, have the potential to have a breakout season? That's a good question. Uh, I'm trying to think of like second year players. I know, I mean, my main guy is Miles Turner. I like him yeah, a lot. Yeah. He's going to get way yeah, more touches. He's a lot better than Alan Williams already. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But um, we're like talking young guys. Al- yeah, Alan Williams is just like funny because no one knows who that dude is. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just liked him. I liked his motor. I like Miles Turner. He just like, he does a lot of things really well on the court. Uh, he's he's really good for fantasy. I mean, that's why I like him. He's on my fantasy team. He like he's top. He's gonna be top ten in blocks this year. He shoots well from like mid range. He's gonna extend out to the three. Uh, free throws. He's good. Defense. He's good. Not a lot around him anymore. And there's yeah, there's no one else on that team. So he's gonna get a lot of points this year. He almost won most improved last year. Yeah, I think he, like, he I think second or third. Think for him to be most improved. Yeah. Anybody you looking out for, Justin Ryder? Oh man. I haven't even done my fancy draft yet, so I'm not sure. I mean, just in general. I would like to see what Jason Tatum will bring to the table in really? Boston. Yeah. I'd be interested to see how he works into that. Yeah, you know, they started decent. the other day. Did they? they yeah, they started a lot of, but like, with, with Kyrie, Hayward, Tatum, uh, and, uh, and, no, no, and Jalen Brown and uh, mm. Al Horford. That's really they have a lot of switchability. All yeah, those guys kind of could play yeah. two through four. Yeah. I agree. Last year, last year in the playoffs, I noticed that Otto Porter was making an impact. Or two years ago in the playoffs, I noticed that Otto Porter was making a big impact and kind of predicted that he was going to have a breakout year. And I feel like the guy who's going to do that this year might be Brogdon. He was okay. he, right. he kind of showed up out of nowhere in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And then really yeah, in the regular season. He won season rookie of the year, didn't he? He, he won, won rookie, rookie of the year. Yeah. But people, oh, everyone keeps throwing shade on him, though, even though he, he did everything he was supposed to last year, and everyone's expecting him to take a step back. I don't this think year. so. I really don't think so. I think he's going to like have – Really break out potential for the Bucks. The Bucks are a sneaky team, and the no, East I is think not he, hard. I think he'll be the reason why. I, if if Thon Maker gets good, as I was telling Tav yesterday, Wayne Middleton. I think that if the Cavs play the th- if the Cavs play the Bucks in the second round, the Cavs are losing. Only if they play them in the second round. If it's the conference finals, I don't necessarily know if Giannis can kind of live up to that moment. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of right before it gets really big. Do you know what I mean? Like like if he played them in the second round, it'd be right before like the shit gets real. Like he, they wouldn't be expected to win. So all the pressure would really just be on them to just go out and play freely rather than them, you know, you know, playing because of expectations. I don't think anybody would expect the Bucks if they made it to the conference finals to beat the Cavs. So in the second round, when no one's expecting you to win or no one even thinks you have a have have a chance, if Thon Maker can, I think this year Thon Maker's gonna wind up doing like wind up getting around seventeen and eight. Because those shots that Jabari Parker dropped to Jabari, um, it, 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 it's, 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 it's really not though. It's, it's really not. They've been. I, I feel like when Jabari went down, because of the fact that they're not going to start Greg Monroe, and Greg Monroe is Greg Monroe, right? Yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. coming off the bench as the center. Yeah, yeah. I think the emphasis will be more on 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 Giannis, Thon Maker, and Middleton to score more, and then they'll be looking for Brogdon to get shoot. I mean, to shoot. And to hopefully just play smart and solid defense. Yeah, they. I mean, and I think that's, that's a recipe solid. for disaster for the Cavs because even in terms of when you talk about the benches, when you bring Tristan Thompson in, I'm taking Greg Monroe on offense over Tristan Thompson's in a, in a playoff series. And the Bucks, they're long. That even if Jabari Parker comes back and he's half of what he is at six foot nine, you bring him off. You can keep bringing him off the bench. That'll give you a solid twelve points a game. You have length all across the floor. Like the only thing they're really missing is shooting, but. If you look at the games they played versus the Raptors, they weren't scoring over 100 points every game. They were all low-scoring, defensive, like, muddy-type games. Yeah, Tony Snell, Tony Snell plays D, Brogdon plays D. They have a lot of good players on that team. The one thing I say they have against them is Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd's not a good coach. He, like, they they do, they do some good things. Like, defensively, they just muck up everyone else's game plan. Mm-hmm. Like, with that length, with switching. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they, I remember it was, like, it was a few years ago when the Bulls played them in the playoffs where they were, like, spitting stats out about the team. And it, they said that the Bucks like, gave up the most corner threes and, like, or just, like, the best shots in the game, the, Buc- the Bucks the don't, yeah, the Bucks the Bucks don't know that the, you're supposed to guard the, against those shots. Mm-hmm. So I think it's, like, I like a bunch of the players on that squad. I think Jason Kidd just isn't a good Okay, coach. this is my question. Is part of that because of Giannis? Because you expect him to be everywhere on the floor defensively? You expect him to not only guard the other team's best perimeter – Player, but you also expect him to give you two well, a block and a half to two blocks a game, 
Like, it, that's probably the reason why they yeah. give up so many threes because when people have to shift and account for his defensive playmaking even, on the defensive end, they have to shift over, which I, leaves them open. I don't even think I don't, I've, I've, I haven't watched a ton of Bucks games, but I still I feel like out of any team in the past two years other than the Celtics when IT was on there, I don't think any team, to me personally, played the Warriors tougher than the Bucks. They, and that's they because their length, the Warriors. Yeah. It, because of the length and the athleticism that they had, it was very, very disruptive for their system. But the only problem was that the Bucks could never score enough to keep up with the Warriors because mm-hmm. the Warriors are going to get around one ten to one twenty. The Bucks only will score one hundred or one hundred five a game. So I just I think that's more of the bigger uh, the bigger issue. My thing, my thing is I don't know how many other players actually have a really high defensive IQ. I just feel like a lot of them are very athletic and very long. Mm-hmm. And, when, and when it comes to being athletic and long, you're going to be able to shoot gaps and get steals. You're going to be able to get blocks. But when it comes to things like corner threes and some of the easiest shots, you need to have a better defensive IQ. But they're also but that's young. Coaching. But they're, that's but, coaching. But, they're all, but you yeah. also have to account yeah. for the fact that they're all really young. That, yeah. is, that, 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 that is why I'm saying that. Now, if we talk about in like four years, my comment on that might change. But right now, again, like even Giannis, this is what, his fourth, third, fourth year? Fourth yeah, year yeah. Now? even two years fourth, from now. Yeah. Two years from now, I think that they'd be better suited to yeah, make like, some Yeah, I don't think they can really make a run right now. I think John still needs to improve his shooting. Um, Thon still needs to improve. We don't know about Jabari. Like this is Jabari's yeah. second ACL, which is which is which is, gets very interesting because he wants a match this summer. And it's the same ACL, isn't it? No, nah, I think yeah, I think it's the same, same one yeah, twice. Yeah, 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 that's like one twice. I would kind of like, rather it be nobody ever tears yeah, the same one yeah. twice. It's supposed to be stronger after yeah, the surgery. Yeah, it's supposed to be stronger after the surgery. Like, well, I mean, well, in Derrick Rose's scenario... He like, never tore the ACL again. It was um, meniscus. Yeah, but those are the same... Lig- they all, like... You know, in yeah, the but same it, for him, it was also on both legs. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm Didn't saying, Russ though, but... Did something both legs, too? Well, no, his meniscus. His, I think it was his meniscus. Who? Russ? Russell? Meniscus. The mm-hmm. one, one. He mm-hmm. tore, like, meniscus and had to keep getting, like, fluid drains from it and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah. my only point about the youth is, like, no one on their team... They only have two players on their team over thirty, and that's um 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 Telovich, yeah, Tel- Telovich and and yeah Telovich, uh, Telovich and Jason Terry. Terry's forty. Well, you would say you expected my man Thumbmaker to go from four points a game <laughs> to seventeen. I do. And eight. Dude, he's twenty. Look, he's twenty years old. Maybe They're, he's twenty years he old. He might be twenty years old. Talk about most player. <laughs> No, 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 even no. Ja- even Jabari, Jabari first couple. I mean, I mean Jabari. Jabari got hurt immediately. Huh? Jabari got hurt immediately. Jabari he, came out killing. They got hurt immediately. And then yeah. in his second year, he put up fourteen. And then last year, he put up twenty. That's not he's going a from much four. Better player than five. Yeah, that huh? too. I, he's much better, and that's not going from four to fucking seventeen. All I'm saying is he I, averaged four and two. You say he going to average good. seventeen? I and think eight. it'd be good if he was like at thirteen. Four. Okay, it's fine. You don't have to believe me. I, like I said, I don't care if you think that I'm wrong. But I'm, I'm literally think that they're putting chips on Thon Maker to take I mean, the next step. His per- there is no other player on that team that has the potential athletically as well as offensively or defensively other than Giannis than Thon Maker. I mean, his per 36 He's- minute stats was um, on 14.5, 7.3, a steal, and a block a game. All right. So if you want to look at that and gauge it by... Yeah. Is he going to play 36 minutes a game on this team, though? Because they have a bunch of big And men he right also only started game. 34 games um, last year. Hence him even to the court in the playoffs. He's, go- he's yeah. going into this year being a starting um, center for them. Yeah, that's how they should do it. I just like, I don't know if he's going to get 36 minutes a game. If he gets 36 minutes a game, I can see those stats happening. Last year, and last year, he only played nine minutes a game when he put up those numbers. I think he's going to be more around 25 minutes a game a night this year. They so just, so they, if he's around 24 or 5 minutes a night, watch. You'll see. He's going to average 17 points in 25 minutes? I think he will wind up averaging like 17 and 8. In 25 minutes? Yes. And I think he'll probably get even... No, I think think he'll probably even get even more minutes after that because with Greg Monroe, you can't keep him on the floor when you have other teams out there that can stretch the floor. You can keep Thon Maker out there. I mean, you know, Thon Maker isn't as slow as Greg Monroe. He's way way more athletic than Greg Monroe. Sorry, go ahead. Problem is that this is what I'm saying about Jason Kidd isn't going to give him 30 minutes a game because they have... Guys like Henson and Monroe, and uh, they have other big men. Uh, do they have the plum? Do they have one of those plumleys still? I think they still have one of the plumleys. <laughs> do they have one of them plumleys? I think, I think so. <laughs> no, yeah, but okay. they like, he's not, he's just not going to give him enough minutes for him okay. to shot. <laughs>